Well, hello, Emmanuel Lutheran Church family. This is Pastor Anders coming to you with a very special announcement, especially for parents and kids in our congregation. So obviously we haven't been able to do the normal Sunday school routine or children's church routine that we were accustomed to doing before COVID happened, but we are introducing a virtual children's church for the next few weeks and through the season of Advent leading up to Christmas that will also allow you to connect with different crafts and Bible stories each week. So there will be bags available in the office with about a month's worth of crafts and supplies for children to continue to be able to connect with the Bible stories that are happening each week. And each week we will come out with a video of someone reading the Bible story from the Spark Bible that corresponds with those crafts. So if you would like to come into the office and pick up those bags, please let us know. Otherwise, we will have a, a team of volunteers that will be able to deliver those to your houses if you so prefer that as well. But this week we have a very special guest joining us. Miss Robin Reitzel will be reading the story of baby Moses, so stay tuned. Hi you guys, welcome to Children's Church. It's been so long since we've been able to get together. I was hoping that we could do these few stories of Moses this month. It's going to be four stories. We're going to see Moses go from a baby all the way up to an adult. We're going to see how God looks after him all the way. But before we get started, let's say a little prayer. So what we do here is we close our eyes, and we fold our hands, we take a nice deep breath, take another breath, and we open our hearts and we let Jesus in. Dear God, be with us today while we learn about Moses. He's an important character in the Bible. We want to learn about you so that we know how to tell other people about you. It's important that we keep telling everybody that we love you and that you're, you're in our lives every day. We take you to school with us. We bring you home with us. We thank you at night before we go to sleep. Be with us and help us through our days. In your name we pray, amen. So let's get to our story about baby Moses. The Bible that we're going to read out of is divided into two different, uh, two different parts to begin with. We have the part that was written before Jesus was born, and we have the part that's written after Jesus was born. Moses was alive a long time before Jesus came. So we're going to read our story out of the Old Testament, and it's going to be out of the book of Exodus. And Exodus means going out. And in two weeks, if you come back, you'll find out why it's, why it's in the book of Exodus. So let's talk about baby Moses. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, was afraid. He was rich and powerful and scared. What could he, what could he be scared of? Well. Strangely enough, Pharaoh was scared of God's people, the Hebrews. He thought there were too many of them, and he was afraid that they would try to become more powerful than he was. To make sure the Hebrews had no power, Pharaoh made them his slaves and ordered them to work very hard. Even worse, he demanded that all the Hebrew babies should be drowned in the Nile River. Ah, that's terrible. <laughs> Because of this, God's people were terribly afraid too. Everyone in Egypt was afraid. During this fearful time, a baby boy was born to a Hebrew mother. She loved her baby boy, and of course, she wanted him to live. The baby's mother kept him safe by making a floating basket for him. She put her baby in the basket and then hid it in the water. And, plant, and the water and the plants at the edge of the Nile River. The baby's big sister, Miriam, hid near the shore and watched over the basket. What happened next was really amazing. Do you have a small brother or a small sister that maybe you'd want to put in the river? I don't think so. <laughs> that would be awful. But we had to do this because the thing here is that God was keeping Moses safe, like he keeps us safe every day. So let's go on. Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river to take a bath. She saw the basket among the water and plants and asked her servants to go and get it. 
When she opened the basket, she was surprised to see a baby boy crying. Hmm, this must be one of the Hebrews' children, said Pharaoh's daughter. He's awfully cute. Wouldn't it be fun to keep him? Aha, thought Miriam, his sister. I can help her. Miriam bravely stepped out of her hiding place. I could probably find someone to help you take care of that baby until he's a little older, she said. That would be perfect, said Pharaoh's daughter. Miriam was excited to tell her mother the news. The baby's mother took good care of him. When he was old enough, he went to live with Pharaoh's daughter. Miriam and her mother prayed he would be safe with her. I think I will name him Moses, said Pharaoh's daughter, because I took him out of the water. Moses lived in Pharaoh's palace until he grew up to be a man. During that time, life became worse and worse for the Hebrews. Eventually, however, Moses helped free God's people so that they could leave Egypt. Now there was something besides fear for God's people. There was hope. So, do you think that... Uh, if you were a sister, Miriam, would you be brave enough to go and talk to Pharaoh's daughter? He was the king of everything in Egypt. So that would have been very hard for her to do. So I think God's trying to tell us that he's gonna keep us safe and to be brave and to step up and do the right thing. So let's talk about a little craft. We've delivered a bag or you've come and picked up a bag from church here and every week it'll have a little a little something in it for you to remember the story with. The bag this week is going, you're going to look for the baby that's in the bag that you're going to make this week. And then you're going to open it up. Your mom and dad are going to help you with it. They're going to help you put baby Moses in the basket among the grass. And then you're going to see that you've got a little thing here to hang it somewhere. Why don't you hang this on your doorknob to your bedroom? Because then you'll feel every time you see it, you'll feel safe because you know God is with you and he's keeping you safe. So you have a good week and we'll talk to you next time. We're gonna learn some more about Moses. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Robin, for reading that story for us this week. And a very special thank you to Miss Brenda and Miss Karen for coming up with this idea to be able to continue to connect kids and families to the stories of the Bible, especially in this time, is something that is really very valuable. So thank you very much. Kids, we hope to see you soon. We miss you, we love you, and can't wait for us to be back in the sanctuary safely together and for Children's Church together too. But for now, peace be with you, and we hope to see you soon. Bye.